Right. I had trouble with the camera, as I knew I would. Got on the fort, nobody there. Managed to do one small video and a couple of photos on the top. Halfway down, the camera's decided to start working again. So I'm just doing a quick video. I'm at the other end of the fort now. And I'm going down a track in a minute, and I should be making my way back to Sanford. <coughs> the way, similar to the way I came this morning. So let's just get up here a minute. Here's like the ramparts that run all the way around the fort, both sides. I have in the past, I've only ever done it once. I will do it another time when I come up. I'll walk around that way or I'll come back this way. That's the ramparts. Top of the fort, as you can see, it's got a commanding position. Quite well defined the ramparts this side as well. Going along. And all the people would have been housed inside here. There's a big wood over there, but that probably wasn't there when... Well, it could have been a different sort of wood when the Iron Age were here. It's quite possible there was wood, but they, so they would have had lots of wood for fires. <sighs> lots of humpy bumpiness. I don't know if that's stones. I can't remember. Got that over Cheddar Way. Anyway, it's a lovely day. I've really enjoyed today. Um, because of, um, it gets dark early, because of buses, um, I can't do as much as I'd want. If I had more time, I'd probably walk around there. I would have done, oh God, 10 years, 20 years ago. I, I wouldn't have been ready to go home yet. <clears throat> I, would, I would have wanted to walk right the way around it again. But, um, well, we all get, we all, let's all get greyer. <laughs> Oh, lovely little trees they've got up here as well. That one's hanging on to its leaves. I don't know if that'll come out. Our cameras are playing up. They really need a big boost. Um, and the other spare camera I brought don't want to start at all. I don't know what's wrong with that one. <laughs> it's me. It's my electrical activity. I, I do things to cameras and batteries. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going down this track now, going back down to the village where I'm going to at Roborough, and I'm we're, we're part of Roborough. I don't quite know what you call this bit down here. Um, and then I'm going to um, walk back. You can tell that it's starting to be, you know, get towards the afternoon now. Um, about half past two in the afternoon. I've done a nice big hike. Uh, and it'll be dark in two, two and a half hours time. So I have, to, I have paced myself quite well actually. This is still all part of the fort, leading up to the fort by the way. Yeah, I've paced myself quite well to fit in the stream, a bit of the wood, and then up to the fort. The camera lasted well. To be quite honest, it did last well. Now, I've never walked down this way before. I usually go down uh, some steps and go down into a little lane, which I was in this morning. Today, I'm, and, I've norm and I've walked up here once before, walked up. This would take me out the same, spe same spot as if I'd gone down through the lane, where I've got to come across the busy A38. Um, which I've got to try and cross and of course as you know once children have to be picked up from school there's like a, a, a period of activity on roads where the mums are picking the children up and then you'll get a lull and then it'll be everyone coming in from work and it's Friday so half past two which you think would be okay. I, I can hear the road, it's very busy. I mean, if I get across this, I'll be extremely lucky because it is really busy. It's a problem, really. Um, but I've got to get across it. I just have to hope it eases up a bit. It's terrible, it's a terrible, busy road. 
so close to an area of real beauty as well. I mean, this is a lovely village here. I mean, they must have to put up with the noise of that road all the time. But then we lived not right on a railway line, but when I was a kid, we were quite close to a railway line. And you, you don't take any notice of it. You, you, don't, you don't even notice it, really. Here, yeah, down there is uh, the little lane. Down the bottom there, I would walk along. I'm just going along it a bit further up, that's all. And um, just saying farewell to Rowbarrow Hill Fort, the Iron Age Hill Fort. Very well constructed, very big, very strong. Um, you can see more of its outline than you can um, Whirlbury and Cadbury. They're sort of, you can see them from the distance they stick out, but this one's got like still quite well defined features. <sighs> You know, huge banks. I really mean huge banks. <sighs> For defence. So this is she, the 17th of November 2017. On one of her autumn walks. <sighs> the weather is starting to get colder now. Um... I'm doing all the extra layers at the moment and I'm having a little bit of heating on in the evenings. I'm trying to hang out as much as possible in the day when I'm in, working on the computer. Just put more cov um, tops on, more, you know, things like that. Lots of walks, see, you can go up there, that'll take you somewhere. There's walks everywhere here. I mean, you, just, you wouldn't get bored if you lived local with all this on your doorstep, would you? There's a little sign there. Dolbury Warren, that says. National Trust. And here we've got all these need replacing, really. They're all getting a bit mouldy now. The Nature Reserve, special site. A magnificent place for a walk. <sighs> and some lovely little cottages that back onto it. As well. <sighs> so that's that then. I've probably got me videoing it going up last time. I think you'll notice that if anyone follows my work. Just imagine, not that many years ago, we didn't have, um, well, there was video recorders, there was a type of cine film camera and things like that. Um, but it wasn't like it is now where it, all phones have got them on there. Um, you can get really good cameras now that record. <sighs> Alright, you go down this way, I think. That's right, a little wooden house. And everyone can put their stuff in other people's front rooms. So horses. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. People see there's empty spaces because they're all out um, working. But uh, like I said the mums are picking up the kids at the moment. So basically, that's a nice view of, over there. Basically, that's uh, <coughs> people still who have to drive to do to do work jobs. Right, over and out everyone.